I'd like to work through classifying uh, this list of compounds into as many categories as appropriate. And uh, it does say no, there are no covalently bonded insoluble compounds. Uh, that means that the only insoluble compounds are going to be compounds that we find on our solubility list to be insoluble. And that means they're going to be ionic compounds. And so ionic compounds, so the first thing we note about ionic compounds is that they contain ions, which uh, it's important to know our uh, ion list and be able to recognize them, if not name them. And here's our ion list, uh, all of the ions that we have to know. And there's our solubility rules for this course. And solubility rules uh, for this course uh, can be a little different than some other courses, although they're basically the same. But ionic compounds, uh, so the way to recognize them is they contain a metal cation, which is a positive ion, or ammonium, which is NH4+. So you can go through and you can say sodium, sodium chloride, that is an ionic compound. And ionic compounds only have two choices. They can be soluble, in which case they are strong electrolytes, and they break up 100% into ions. Oops, sorry, I got off page there. Or they can be insoluble and not dissolve at all and not be any kind of ion. Uh, rule number one says group one compounds are always soluble, and sodium is a metal cation. So that's going to go into the strong electrolytes category. From there, we go to HCl. H is a non-metal. Uh, it is at the top of group one, and it is still a non-metal. However, HCl is a strong acid. There are only seven strong acids that we have to know. HCl, HBr, HI, nitric acid, HNO3, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, perchloric, HClO4, and uh, chloric, HClO3. And anything that is a strong acid also is a strong electrolyte because strong acids break up 100% into H pluses. That also means they break up 100% into ions. All right, so working our way through this list here. Uh, silver chloride. Almost all chlorides are soluble except a very few. One of those is silver chloride. And so that goes in our insoluble list. And according to our solubility rules, which I had right here, yeah, nope. Well, where are they? Going? Oh, no, they're right in front of me. Solubility rules, no, that's the wrong. There we go. Solubility rules, all binary compounds of the halogens other than uh, fluoride with metals are soluble except those of silver, mercury one, and lead. So silver is definitely on that list. Now we have a carbon, hydrogen, oxygen compound. Those break up into two things. So CHO, CCX, HYOZ. So those break up into two categories. They can uh, be have the COOH group and therefore be weak acids and weak electrolytes. Or they can not have COOH, in which case they are non-electrolytes. This particular compound is an alcohol. It's got the OH on the back. And that means it does not have COOH, so it is a non-electrolyte. So CH3, CH2, OH. Silver nitrate. Uh, all nitrates are soluble. It has a metal in it. That means it will be a strong electrolyte. And that's it.
Ah, COOH group, that means it is a weak acid. And all weak acids are also weak electrolytes. We're going to have more. Metal cation, only choice. Does it dissolve? Is it soluble? Then it's a strong electrolyte. Uh, if it is not soluble, then it is not soluble. All acetates are soluble. That's the acetate group there. So that's going to be a strong electrolyte. I think that's a three. Uh, CH and O compounds, no COOH group, plus it's glucose. Metal cation, sodium, gonna be soluble. Strong electrolyte for sure, has hydroxide group, gonna be a strong base. Because we consider in this course the strong bases are the group one hydroxides and strong bases are also strong electrolytes. Here's a hydroxide. It is insoluble. So we put it in the insoluble category. Ooh, I don't know why I keep putting the insoluble category down there. It's really right here. H2S. Well, there's only two ways to have acids. That is the COOH group in the back, or H is in the front. H2S is an acid. It is not one of our seven strong acids. So it is a weak acid and a weak electrolyte. Calcium carbonate. Carbonates are generally insoluble, and I don't think, uh, unless it's group one or sodium or potassium carbonate, it is insoluble. And it also makes up most of chalk and uh, all, most of eggshells, which are not soluble. Uh, ammonium nitrate, anything with ammonium is soluble. Anything with nitrate is soluble. Strong electrolyte. Lithium, metal cation, anything with lithium or group anything in the group one is soluble. Carbonic acid, H2CO3, has an H or more in the front uh, and is not a strong acid. So it is a weak acid and therefore a weak electrolyte. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid. Also put it in the strong electrolyte camp. COOH in the back, it's a calling card for a weak acid, which is also a weak electrolyte. Uh, metal, hydroxide, group one hydroxide, strong base, and strong electrolyte. I think that's the last one because ammonia is the only weak base that you have to know. There is no weak base category, but it is also a weak electrolyte. And that is how we classify all these compounds into their different categories and a little bit of the thought process behind it.